welcome back. And before we get started, today's gonna be a good day. Hope you guys staying positive, loving yourself, and doing much happy. Now, guys, we are back with another video. Now, this video is called Overcoming Self-Doubt. Now, I really wanted to stretch this, this topic because this is something that I deal with heavy two years ago. Um, so, when you think of self-doubt, self-doubt is basically like low self-esteem, you not believing in your choice. Not, you not believing in your choices that you make, uh, the fear of the unknown, um, you not believing in yourself. It's a it's a it's a very different way you can come at come at when you're uh, talking about self doubt. Now, like I said, this is something that I struggled with two years ago. Um, when I got out here on my own adventure, when I was just fundling through life and trying to figure out what I wanted to do and one thing I did know that I did not want to do was work for somebody else I wanted to be my own person I wanted to live my I wanted to live my life my way and not follow the next man and I can't say that caused a lot of self-doubt uh, in my life uh, me making decisions like you know if I make this move what could the outcome you know what would the outcome could be and me doing that that really helped my myself myself my self doubt on my decisions that I make. And me doing that, it allowed me to be where I am right now in life. Now a couple of signs that you may be self doubting yourself is that you need re reassurance from others. You need uh, confirmation from others. You have low self esteem issues. You always think that you're not good enough and you're not doing enough. And I'm here to tell you from experience that you are doing enough. While you're sitting at home feeling bad about yourself, thinking about everything you're doing wrong, there's somebody that you don't even know thinking about everything you're doing right. Saying, hey, how come I can't be like that person? And then one thing I had to realize, I can't always feed into the negative outcomes of the decisions that I make. I got I gotta always stay positive in everything that I do. And it helped me with my self-doubt. I started to let go. I started to let the universe take control. I started to let God take control. I started to practice the art of surrender. But I had to stand tall, I had to stay strong. And what I learned on how the universe works is the universe will give you what you need rather than what you want. And that's why I just had to let go and let the universe, let the God take control and they help with my self-doubt. Now things that you can do to help with self-doubt is practice uh, self-compassion. You know, be appreciative of the things that you got. Man, guys, it's like we pay attention to so much, you know, ahead of us in our future and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And us always thinking, of, thinking like that, it puts us in a bind in our mind that, you know, we're not doing enough. Uh, I'm not I, I'm not where, where I want to be, but you really are because if you think about it the times that you sit and prayed about and, and, and Meditated about of where you wanted to be and you got to those places and now this is not enough for you now you're Not being appreciative of the goals and uh, and the dreams and aspiration that you've already fulfilled And that's one thing I had to work on for myself me not being appreciative to where I've came and being appreciative to what I have become. See guys, we have to understand, we are our own biggest inner critic. See, we all pay attention to the things that we're doing wrong rather than the things that we're doing right. And we have to change that. We have to be skeptical of our thoughts. We have to start journaling sometimes, writing down our thoughts, and stop self-doubting ourselves. So I have some homework for you guys. I want you to get a journal. I want you to write down everything that you are appreciative of and everything that you have achieved so far. And once you do those things, take time out to really go back over and look what you wrote out. And I want you to realize all the, the dreams and goals that you have accomplished that has got you to the point to where you are right now. And I've said it, I've said it multiple times, you cannot compare yourself to others. Because that can cause major self-doubt. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you follow me on all my social media platforms, which I will have in the, have in the description below. Guys, the Breeding Number merch shop is now out. Check it out at breedingnumeragain.myspreadshop.com. Also be in the description below. Guys, if you like games, I'm a gamer. Check out my Twitch at Breeding Normal. Again, will also be in the description below. But guys, remember to stay positive, love yourself, do what makes you happy. Now, before we go, today's going to be a good day.